Welcome. Welcome to the Storybook Moment for kids from 1 to 110. This is Brenda Harris greeting you in the precious name of Jesus. There was a raft floating in the ocean. It had big, huge letters written on it. L-I-F-E, it read. The life raft had been floating for a very long time. One day a storm came up and the raft was tossed around like a rag doll, but somehow it never turned over. The raft kept floating in a certain direction, steadily, persistently. In the far distance, there was a man floating in the ocean. He had been pushed overboard when he was the only one on deck except for the one who had pushed him over. He had no idea why anyone would push him overboard. He had no enemies as far as he knew, especially on the vacation cruise that he was on. But he was tired of trying to figure it out. He just wanted to live. He had no idea if anyone from the ocean liner would even realize that he was missing. He had been floating for a day, and tired of floating would not even describe how he felt deep inside. The word desperate came to mind. He knew that he only had a little bit of time to be saved from certain death. If hunger, thirst, or the heat of the sun didn't get him, maybe a sea creature would view him as a meal. He wasn't a religious man, but he had been sent to parochial school and had been taught some verses from the Bible. His desperate thoughts turned to the only God the only one who could help him at this point. He had always believed there was a God. He wasn't totally sure, but it just made sense to him that creation had to have a creator. He had never given much thought about his need for the creator. But now, when he was at the point of death, he began to wonder if there was life after death. Did our bodies just pass away, and that was the end of it all, or... Was there something more? Oh, he desperately wanted to live. He cried out, God, I'm not ready to go yet. He felt no hope, really, because he realized how small he was in that huge ocean. Even if there was an alert of a passenger overboard from the ocean liner, it would be hard for anyone to see him floating in the ocean. They might not ever find him, it might be too late. His strength was getting weaker. Even though he was in great condition because he was a marathon runner, he had been trained to endure. He was going to endure as long as he could, but that didn't keep the fear of death away. He had heard of someone else who had survived after floating in the ocean for three days, an amazing feat, but the other person had not been attacked by a shark. What if a shark would show up? His thirst was so strong, he was already feeling so dizzy. Somehow, he made it through another night. By the next day, he thought that it wouldn't take too much longer to go out of his mind. In desperation, he cried out to God, God, if you're real, please save me. He knew the Lord's prayer, so he prayed the Lord's Prayer. He felt a comforting presence. So he tried to remember as many Bible verses as he could. He quoted them out loud. He wondered if he had already lost his mind. Funny, a little forgotten verse came back to his memory. He quoted it. Psalm 119 and 116 Sustain me and I will live. Do not let my hopes be dashed. He felt that comforting presence again. It gave him hope. Then he saw something white off in the distance. He squinted his eyes to see better. Could it be? Could it be a life raft? What adrenaline he had left kicked in, and he began swimming toward it as fast as he could. He felt like he wasn't making much headway, but... Soon he was able to make out a word, L-I-F-E, life. Tears came to his eyes. 
He just might get out of this alive after all. After some time, he was able to get to the life raft and get on board. It had a boarding ramp to use in order to board more easily. He was so thankful for that since he felt so weak. He prayed, Oh God, I don't know how you sent the life raft, but I thank you that you did. When he got into the raft, he found food and water. Tears were streaming down his face as he drank and ate. He felt immediate strength go through his body. Oh, he would never take food and water for granted again. He looked around and noticed that the floor of the raft was insulated. He also found a beacon of light that he could use. I mean, this life raft had it all for survival. He found some flares and sent them skyward. He found the essential radio that was protected by the waterproof container. Whoever prepared this life raft meant business and saving lives. It wasn't very long after contacting the Coast Guard on the radio that he was rescued. He was surrounded by the media soon after, and he knew people thought he was crazy after his experience because of what he said, but he didn't care. It came out in the papers in bold black letters. Man says, God sent me a life raft. He just wanted to make sure that everyone knew that he knew that God had saved him. Little ones, God has sent us a life raft, a Savior, and his name is Jesus. God has provided everything that we will ever need to save our souls. Jesus is the only way, the truth, and the life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And now this concludes the storybook moment. Again, this is Brenda Harris, blessing you in the precious name of Jesus, our Lord.